Welcome to FreshMaya.com. My name is Eric, and I want to show you the basics of using Motion Pass for doing some animating. On my screen, I have a building, I have a spaceship, and I have a ground plane. We're going to animate this spaceship going around our building, and we're going to do that by creating a curve and using that curve for the flight path. That curve is going to be our animation path. All right, so let's go ahead and create our animation path. I'm going to go to a top view. I'm going to go to my Create menu, go down to EP Curve Tool. And now I'm just going to draw a curve on my screen. Hit enter. Now to adjust my curve, I'm going to right click, with my, make sure my curve is selected. I'm going to right click on my screen, select control vertex from the uh, marking menu that pops up. I can now move these control vertices. That looks pretty good right there. I'm going to go to a perspective view, make a few more adjustments to make this a little more interesting. Let's say our ship dips down pretty low to the ground right there. Let's say he comes in from up kind of high and let's say all this is up there too. So something like that. That's going to be our animation path. F F8 a couple of times, go to object mode. All right. Next step is to attach our spaceship to our animation path. So we're going to select our spaceship, select our animation path. But now, before we do that, uh, one thing we need to know is the orientation of our ship. Not the orientation of our ship in world space, but in its own object space. It's a local, local orientation. And right now, so what we need to do is just go to a move tool and look at your move tool. Right now, the front of my ship is pointing in the Z direction and the top of the ship is pointing in the Y direction so positive Z for the front positive Y for the top I know it's positive Z because it's pointing in the direction of the blue arrow and I know it's the top is pointing in positive Y because it's going in the direction of the Y arrow if it's going the opposite of the arrow it would be in the negative direction alright so front is positive Z top is positive Y I'm going to select my ship Shift, select my curve, make sure I'm on my animation menu set. I'm going to go up to the animation menu, go down to motion pass, over to attach to motion path, but I'm going to click on the little box next to it to open up the options. Edit, resets, just going to reset the settings. Everything's default right now. All right, there's a couple ways we can do that. We can use the uh, time slider. And right now, my time slider is set on uh, 20. If you look down here at the bottom of my screen, it's on 20. So the animation is going to be from the, the total time for the animation is going to be 20 frames if I use this time slider. I can go to start and in, input a start time. I like to use the start slash end time. And let's say I want this animation, uh, this full animation right here to go from 1 to 1,000 frames. Now that's kind of big high for this animation, but uh, there's a reason I'm doing this is it's going to make it really slow, but I want to show you how you can adjust the uh, speed really sim really easily at the end. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do 1 to 1,000. All right, front axis and up axis. That's the front of our ship and the top of our ship. The front of our ship is pointing in the Z direction, so I'm going to select Z, and the top of our ship is pointing in the Y direction. Now, if I click on Attach right now, my spaceship is going to go attach to this uh, curve exactly the way I want it. But let's say we forget to do that. So I'm going to change the front axis to X. Maybe I'll change the up axis to uh, Z. Something just totally incorrect. I'm going to click Attach. Now if you look at my ship, it's definitely not attached to our animation curve the way it's supposed to. So if I was to hit Play right now, okay, now my animation down here at the bottom of my screen on my range uh, slider, uh, to the right you'll see where it says 20. Well, I told this an this flight path animation to go a thousand frames, so I'm gonna bump this up to a thousand. That way, the animation will go the full length of our curve. So if I hit play, if you look at our ship, that's definitely not what we want. So it's an easy way to fix it. Just select your ship, go to your attribute editor, and you'll see a tab that says motion path. Just click on that tab, and now you'll see front axis and up axis. So there's a drop down box for our front axis. Front of mine was Z, so I'm going to select Z, and the up axis was Y. 
So now our ship, if you look at our ship, it's uh, oriented the right way. Now, if the front of your ship was pointing in the negative Z direction, there's not a negative Z in this drop-down box. So what you'll do is you'll select Z, and then over here right above it, you'll click on inverse front, and it will flip your ship around. Uh, same thing goes for the top. If the top of your ship was pointing in the negative Y direction, then you would select Y from your up axis drop-down box, and then you would uh, click on inverse up and it'll flip your ship around. All right, so once you get your ship oriented right, we can do a little anim test animation, just hit play, and our ship is following the path just like we told it to, but it looks more like a car, a car driving along a road. It's just turning, it's not really banking like we want it to do. So let me rewind. Now instead of using the play and rewind button, I'm just gonna click down here at the bottom of my screen, I'm gonna click on the, um, the uh, time slider. I can just left click and drag and I can scrub forward or backwards through uh, our animation. So it just makes it a little bit easier. Alright, the way we're going to adjust this, and before we do that, let me show you one more thing. If I flip around here and we look at our curve, you'll see at the beginning of our curve there's a number one there. And at the end of our curve there's a thousand. So that means this curve has an animation of one to a thousand on it. If you ever want to change that, you can do that simply by selecting your curve. Now, if we go down here to our uh, range slider down here at the bottom, we change this to, let's say, 500. It doesn't affect this curve. See, it's still 1,000. So if we were to play this, let me kind of jump forward. Once it gets to 500, it just... So right there is the end of our animation. Our ship is right there. It's not the end of the curve. So if you ever want to adjust this curve length and animation, select the curve, go to your attribute editor, and then up here at the top, like if you click on your motion path tab, right at the, at the top where you see the uh, name of it, to the right of that you'll see two buttons. Click on the top button, and now you should see this. You should see uh, your keys, one and a thousand. So you can change that right there. So thousand, if we wanted it, we can switch it to 500. And now, if you look at our curve, it's got 500 at the very end, and our ship is down there at the end. So, just uh, wanted to let you know that, in case you ever need to change that, the value of your curve. So, I'm going to change that back to 1,000. And now, let's start making some adjustments to our ship. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and click on my ship. I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning of our animation, and we're going to set some keyframes. At the very beginning of our animation, uh, we want our ship like that, but I'm going to go ahead and start on the curves first, just to kind of show you, uh, in case you're not familiar with this. Right here at the curve, I want my ship to be slanted to the right, so it looks more like he's uh, banking. The way we can do that is if you look in the channel box under your input nodes down here, you'll see a motion path. If you click on that, you'll see front twist, up twist, and side twist. I'm going to click on the word front twist, and now I can middle mouse drag left and right on my screen, and if you look at my ship, you'll see how we can adjust it. All right, I'm going to make him to where he's kind of banking to the right, and now I'm going to set that key. I'm going to set a key right there. So what I'm going to do is where it says front twist, I'm going to right click on those words, a pop-up menu comes up, I'm going to click on key selected from that menu. And once we do that, our ship will be there now. So I'm going to 